Hey Joshua, this is Tommy and I just wanted to talk to you about your week two project, your find edit. I like the fact that when somebody watches this, they're going to have no clue what the hell it means. Why is this happening to her? You're asking that question. And we think we're going to get the answer right away. We kind of do, but then you take us back. It's almost like a Tarantino style editing. What? Did he really uh, just that say that? song kind of reminded me of something out of Pulp Fiction too, which he, he, he's one of my favorites. For my name and Quentin Tarantino's name to be in the same statement is mind-blowing. He's a phenomenal director, one of my favorites, top five, if not top two. Sorry, J.J. Abrams just takes top spot. I mean, it's J.J. Abrams. But I didn't plan for it to be similar to a Quentin Tarantino film. Never, I didn't plan it being similar to any film. Uh, we went with the idea, I wanted something simple because we was on a time crunch because we were leaving that cabin within a couple weeks, so I had to shoot everything then. Uh, so we came up with the idea that it was simple. They had little lines, so the kids didn't have to be too quiet in the background. We just get them quiet for a few seconds to get the line out and call it good. That's why there's so little lines. Wrote it like that purposely. Wrote it to be simple, and it's come out to be one of the best films I've done, I've, or at least the best reception of any of the films I've done. They, I've got more feedback on this, positive feedback on this than I have on anything. So thank y'all for that. Shooting in the snow, easy. You would think it'd be hard. The snow's just overblown as the sky, so you throw an ND filter on there, and it balances everything out like perfectly and easy. That was actually simple and didn't have, didn't have any problem shooting in the snow. I'm talking about exposure, the windows are all blown out. I should have went in and masked all the windows. I didn't. Live and learn, right? You, learn, you should learn something from everything you do. I learned a lot from this one still. This is like number eight for me, I think. Nine, number nine. This is my ninth short film. 10 if you count the mini doc. But it's not short films, so I don't count the mini docs. I didn't use any lights. I used natural lighting for all of it. And it was funny is I didn't even do it on purpose. This cabin is full of giant windows, snowy outside, it's bright. Just like I said earlier, the cabin stays lit up. We just started, tossed the camera up and started shooting and we got done. I was like, oh my God, I didn't use lights at all. It was all natural lighting, but it came out so good. And so I was 100% okay with it. So did y'all see the arm? Pause it now, go watch it again, see if you can find it. I'll wait. Yeah, so I did good to make sure the microphone itself stayed out of the shot, but I didn't even pay attention to her arm and reviewed it. I didn't notice it. What's funny is no one's said anything about it yet. Yeah, there's an arm in my shot. It's funny, that was supposed to be a medium shot, but I had to crop it in to get rid of it, because it was way bad. So I cropped it in, where it's just a little bit in the corner. I didn't want to go any farther than that. I, I'm a fan of, of wider shots. I don't really do close-ups. I don't know. I don't know why. I have to force myself to do close-ups when it comes to people. I like medium shots. I like seeing more of the body and, your, and the body actions. And we talk with our hands and our bodies and we move it as to it, I think. And you're just zoomed in on your face. You don't, I don't know. I like more wide angle shots. So the little, Fun Easter egg, just to add some fun to the film. Uh, if any of y'all have kids and know what Paw Patrol is, if you notice, there's a little Sky toy. Sky is one of the dogs from Paw Patrol. So there's a little group of dogs that goes around and battles bad people for their little town, in case you don't know what Paw Patrol is. It's a kid's show. Anyway, so you notice there's a little Sky toy placed in different shots. So it's supposed to be one in every scene, but we definitely missed some. One man crew, you know, things get messed up when you're trying to do everything yourself with little help. Just helped out as much as you can, but she was acting, so she couldn't help out a whole lot. So I missed a few, but they're there. So go back and count how many you think you see. Thanks for watching the film. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Can't wait to make the next one. Until next time, see ya.